Welcome to another bonus edition of Upon Further Review. Upon Further Review! And in this edition, we'll be talking about the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys. This Week 5 matchup will be on October 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can catch that on your local CBS affiliates. So here we got the Battle of Texas. It's the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys. They both enter this game at 3-1. and one. And although I haven't heard anyone else say it, I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is a possible Super Bowl preview. Yeah, that's right. It's possible. Hey, they're both 3-1. I'm not saying I think these teams are going to the Super Bowl by any stretch of the imagination. But there's no reason why they can't, especially in this year, where it really seems as if any team has the opportunity. Especially, it's only one month that football has been played so far. And... It really, no team has really set themselves apart from the pack other than the Bengals and the Cardinals, who are both the lone remaining undefeated teams. We'll see how they fare here in Week 5. But as for this game, though, as I said, these two teams are 3-1, and one, and whoever wins this game will be sitting pretty at 4-1, and one, and that will go a long way towards them as they are both on the road towards winning their divisions. And there's some competitive divisions as the Texans, they got to compete with the Colts, even though the Colts lost their first two games. They just won the last two games. And if the Texans lose this game and the Colts win, then they'll be back to being tied in the South. The Cowboys, on their hand, they got to watch out for those Eagles and the Redskins. And the Giants are now, you know, looking good after losing their first two games. The Giants won their last two games. And the Eagles, they lost their first game last week to San Francisco. And that means that the Cowboys and the Eagles are tied for first place in the East. But the Cowboys got to keep winning to keep pace with the Eagles. And they can ill afford to lose a home game as these home games are at a premium. Especially if you want to win your division, even though this isn't a division rivalry game. The Cowboys have been on fire. They lost in week one to San Francisco in Dallas. They did turn it on in the second half. It was too little too late. But then they went on the road to Tennessee and they beat the Titans despite Romo not really playing too well. Then they went to St. Louis and they beat the Rams. It was a freaking amazing game and it was freaking talk about excitement. I'll say anytime Romo is behind quarterback, it's exciting one way or another. And they won that one by a field goal. And then last week they went back home and on Sunday night they beat New Orleans. They beat them pretty bad. And Romo looked pretty good. Probably best game so far, not his best statistical game, you know, he had better numbers in week one, but that was kind of because they were putting up the numbers later on in the game, either way, I'll tell you, the highlight for the Cowboys offense has been DeMarco Murray, top run in the league, he has been having a great, great season, and he is the number one reason why the Cowboys are 3-1, and one, and why they won three games in a row, and why they're hoping to win a fourth game in a row, although i not so sure that's going to happen. The Texans started off the season 2-0 and as they first hosted the Redskins and they beat them in a tight game even though they won you know, by 11 points. It was kind of tight. And then they went to Oakland and they beat up on the Raiders. Then they went to New York and they lost to the Giants. The Giants got their first one of the season in that game. Then they came back home and they beat Buffalo. And that was a pretty impressive victory there to beat Buffalo. Buffalo's a lot better than people might give them credit for, even though, you know, they start off 2-0, and they lost the last two, but either way, the Texans are 3-1, and one, and now they're going on the road to Dallas. Of course, let's look at the numbers, and when we look at the numbers, when it comes to passing offense, these teams are pretty similar, and it's funny because, you know, people uh, wouldn't think so, but the Texans actually have better numbers passing than the Cowboys. Even though Fitzpatrick is somebody no one gives any credit for, and all you ever hear about is Tony Romo, right? But when it comes to the numbers, the Texans are 18th in the NFL in pass yards per game, and the Cowboys are 20th. So very evenly matched there. When it comes to pass defense, the edge is in the favor of the Texans. The Texans are 15th in the NFL in passing defense, and the Cowboys are 26th. So you got to give the edge in the passing game to the Texans. Like I said, I mean, people might not think so. You know, in your head you might not think so, but if you look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie, and the numbers say that the Texans are a better passing team than the Cowboys when it comes to offense and defense. 
But then we look at the running game, and the Texans struggle to run the ball. They're 19th in the NFL in running yards per game, and the Cowboys are the number one team in all of football that run the ball, mainly off the strength of DeMarco Murray. Of course, their offensive line has been opening up those holes for him. He has just been incredible all season long. So they have a great running attack. And when you look at the defense, he should be able to put up big numbers against Houston because Houston struggles to stop the run. They're 24th in the league in running defense, and the Cowboys are 14th. Not really great, but good enough to stop the Texans. So when you go and look at those numbers on the ground, the clear advantage on the ground is in the Cowboys' favor, even more so than the slight advantage the Texans have through the air. The Cowboys got it on the ground. And if we look at the points scored, the Texans are struggling to get points on the board. They're 21st in the NFL in points scored. The Cowboys, on the other hand, they don't have too much problems getting in the end zone or putting up field goals. Cause they're fourth in the NFL for points scored. But then if we look at points allowed, things get kind of interesting here. Is the Texans, as much as they might struggle to put up points, they are very good at stopping teams from scoring. Is they're sixth in the NFL in points allowed. The Cowboys are 10th, so they're not too shabby either when it comes to points allowed. So pretty evenly matched there when it comes to points. It's hard to say really who you're going to give the edge to on that one. Because of how you know, evenly matched they are, I guess I would have to give the edge there to the Cowboys. So, I mean, if you look at the numbers, the numbers would say that the Cowboys should win this game. That's what the numbers look like anyway. But I'm actually picking the Texans. As crazy as that might sound, going against the numbers. But sometimes that's what you got to do. Of course, the Texans, I mean, it's going to be tough for them to win this game. They really, the keys to them winning this game is going to be their defense. They've got to come up with some big plays on defense. They have been. They've got some excellent players and probably the best player on defense in the NFL and J.J. Watt. I know that's become almost a cliche, but it's because it's true. I mean, J.J. Watt, going into the season already, everybody was would say he's the consensus best defensive player. And then look at what he's already done so far. The guy has been freaking amazing. He's actually caught an offensive touchdown. He's got scored on defense. I mean, he's make, he blocked an extra point. I mean, the guy's just been having a phenomenal year and showing that he definitely deserved that big contract he got in the offseason. So that's what they need, though, from him, and that's what they need from their defense. If they're going to be Dallas and Dallas, especially the way the Cowboys have been looking lately. You know, they've been putting up them numbers, and they look to be really hot, and they look to be really unstoppable on the ground. That's going to be the key. Is they got to figure out some way to stop DeMarco Murray, and that seems almost impossible. they got to figure out something about that. Of course, the keys to them winning is going to end up being, and the way I think that they will do it is when it comes down to the end, like this is going to be, I think, a really great game. Very excited to watch this game for sure. I believe it's going to come down to the end. It's going to be a classic, you know, Cowboys game there. And I think Romo going to be Romo. He's going to throw a fourth quarter interception, whether at what point in the fourth quarter, how many even in the fourth quarter, will it be in the final two minutes, will it be on the final play. How's that all going to transpire? That remains to be seen. But I do believe they caused that turnover, and it's, you know, in the fourth quarter at an opportune time. Wouldn't be surprised if J.J. Watt is somehow responsible, whether he gets another interception, which is crazy, or if he forces a fumble or maybe even a safety. Who knows? We'll see. But that's how Houston wins this game. Of course, for Dallas, the key to them winning this game is just keep giving DeMarco Murray the rock, keep pounding the ball, keep the Houston defense on the field, wear them out, don't let them get the ball on offense. You know, Their defense got to show out. And they can win this game for sure. Like I said, the numbers kind of favor the Cowboys, actually. Uh, see, I'm going against the grain picking Houston, especially on the road. But I just I believe the Texans are a better team, personally. 
we'll see though. I think you know uh, the Cowboys. They've been you know impressing me, and it's, I'm not like I'm uh, against them or anything. I like the Cowboys. I just you know they got to prove to me that they're as good as their record, and I really don't think they are. I think that they're actually you know uh, kind of a little bit overhyped, except for Demarco Murray. I mean he's been playing unbelievable, playing excellent, and actually the fact that they're three and one and Romo's been playing as bad as he's been playing, and really he has. I don't know why. I've been seeing everybody all of a sudden. It seems like because they're three and one, it seems to be just like, oh yeah, let's praise Romo. And it's like, hey man, if you look at his numbers, his numbers have been garbage. Freaking, he hasn't really shown me nothing this season. But that's actually though, if you're a Cowboys fan, you should be very happy about that. The fact that he's played so bad and they were at three and one, tied for first place in their division. I mean, that's got to be, you know, something that makes you happy. But I'll tell you what, though, they're in trouble because they've got, you know, a tough month here in October and heading into the first week of November. But we'll see what happens. If they win this game, though, that will impress me for sure. But we'll see. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments below. Very interested to hear your comments and opinions. If you like the show, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want more of this content, go ahead and subscribe as we bring you recaps for each and every single game as well as upon further reviews. That's what you're listening to right now. We do this for each and every single game each and every single week. We also have our weekly show, The Wedge, where we do quick picks, fantasy football picks. We have a weekly rewind and we do the upon further review for the Thursday night game. So you check that out. We're also covering the baseball playoffs. We'll be covering that all the way through the World Series, so make sure to check that out. We also cover a little bit of college football. So thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Have a great weekend and enjoy all the excellent sports.